In this problem, we have two fractions and we're subtracting them. So this second fraction over here is called a mixed fraction because it, it has a whole part and a fractional part. So the very first step in this problem is to convert this mixed fraction into uh, what's called an improper fraction. So 2 over 7, we'll keep that, so 2 over 7, minus, and then to convert this to a mixed fraction, what we'll do is you basically multiply these numbers. So 3 times 3, so that gives you 9, and then you add 9 plus 1, so that's 10, and then you write it over this number here on the bottom, so 3. Again, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. All right, and we're still not done because now um, the denominators are different. So you can't subtract fractions when these numbers on the bottom are different. They have to be the same. So what we have to do is we have to find what's called a common denominator. We can do that simply by multiplying these. Watch. 7 times 3 is 21. So that's going to be our common denominator. So now what we do is we multiply each of these fractions by what's missing in order to get this common denominator. So for example, here we're missing a 3 because we already have a 7. So you multiply the whole thing by 3 over 3. And see, we're basically multiplying by 1 because, you know, 3 over 3, the 3 is cancel, you just get 1. So it's just a trick that will allow us to, like, strategically manipulate this so we can get the 21 on the bottom. 10 over 3, well, we're missing the 3. So we'll multiply by 7 over 7, and then we have times 10 over 3. Good stuff. Now we can multiply straight across. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 7 is 21. Minus. Ooh, 7 times 10 is 70. That's really big. And then 7 times 3 is 21. Good stuff. 60 minus 70 is negative 64. So you have negative 64 over 21. So now let's go ahead and convert this back to a um, mixed fraction. You could probably leave it like this. This is called an improper fraction because the top part is bigger. But let's convert it. To do that, you kind of have to think about how many times does 21 go into 64? Well, 21 times 3, what would that be? 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So 21 times 3 is 63. So 21 goes into 64 three times. So this is negative, you just keep the negative. 3, that's, that's, the, that's the whole part. And then what's left over? After 21 goes into 64 three times, um, you're left with 1, right? Because 64 minus 63 is 1. So 1, and then you write it over this part here. So over 21. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Make sure to subscribe.